Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today is the episode 6 of the series of Emotional Resilience. Today I'm going to speak about how to tweak your thoughts in order to be able to build your emotional resilience. We discussed how we can get in touch or connect to your emotions and then how you can identify the specific emotion then evaluating the emotion regulating the emotions and then yesterday i spoke about how important it is to bridge between your inner and outer world of your beliefs and today we are going to speak about the importance about how you can tweak your thoughts in order to be able to build emotional resilience and create the life you really desire. For me, it comes down to C's. The first one is about catching your thoughts. The second one is how you concentrate on your thoughts. The third one is knowing the consequences of your thought. The fourth one is about clarifying your thoughts. And the fifth one is having the choices. So let's go one by one. First one is about catching your thoughts. If someone is catching what you are thinking, you're more likely to understand it better, know it better. And also it will help you tweak the thought in a positive way or in a way which can help you to get where you want to be or to build up your resilience. So what do I mean by that? What I'm meaning is knowing what we actually are thinking helps. Sometimes I am still work in progress. Sometimes even I catch myself thinking or a thought process which is really not helping me to get where I want to or to build up my emotional resilience. Actually this morning I was talking to my friend before coming um, coming on to doing the live and um, they pinpointed to me how my thinking process or my thought process is actually not helping me to build up the emotional resilience or go where I really want to go. So it helps. It helps to know about your thought processes. So I have been advocating you to start writing the emotions you are feeling, then to evaluate. And even yesterday I told you how to record the belief system, what you're holding about three different things, right? Like that, today I would really encourage you to go and start recording your thoughts as you catch all the thoughts ideally, but at the minimum, the thoughts which are hindering your progress or negatively impacting you or anyone else in some way or form, I would definitely encourage you to start writing it because writing is powerful. Second one is concentration. What are you concentrating on? So when I'm saying concentrating is, I let me give you an example. There is, um, my brother used to work with me at some point and so many different things would go right. But on our way back home, I will be telling him sometimes about that one small thing which didn't go right. Yeah. And he will be asking me, but why are you not saying to about all those things which went right or all those people who were so happy with you, right? Exactly the same way sometimes, even in um, class or college or even for students and children, when we get a 9 out of 10 or 8 out of 10, there are parents, teachers sometimes say, what happened to that one mark or what happened to that 10% or 20% regardless of and we kind of get 
like wired into thinking, we have to focus on what didn't go right rather than celebrating what did go right. I'm, I'm a big advocate of knowing and having feedback and reflecting, learning and developing for sure. But it is as important to celebrate the successes and think about what really did go wrong, did go right. And I think in a way our brain is wired to focus on the things what didn't go right because it protects us from doing the mistakes, I guess, in a way. But it's important to know about it and understand next time when you think where are you actually focusing and record that as well. Then it is about how you are maximizing or minimizing, how you are configuring your thought. What I mean by it, for example, um, someone didn't call you or someone didn't invite you for that party or someone um, couldn't visit you. Instead of suddenly thinking, oh, you know, they don't like us or no one likes us even sometimes we think, we generalize and um, or we can think what is the reason behind it. Might be in this particular instant they were busy or you know we couldn't that particular crowd we were not a good fit and uh, or any other reason for that matter right uh, sometimes even for myself i need to think like if i am in a hurry to go somewhere if uh, I, I sometimes we get upset about uh, someone um, cutting across or someone jumping the traffic light or something right but it's important for us to realize what is making us think in that particular way when we start thinking like that it becomes a habit and we analyze our thinking much better and it will also trigger you to change the way you think so much more effectively right then it is about knowing the consequences people say we are or we become what we think so it's so important how we think and how our thought process is. So next time, think about it. When we start thinking, the power is within us to create our future, we automatically, something shifts and we become much more committed to change our thoughts, to change the way we think, right? For me, that's what happened. Um, years back, one of my friends had given me the secret the book law of attraction many of you might have heard uh, so it's almost like we are whatever we are living at this moment we have created it with our own thought processes of own belief right so that kind of change um, me i wouldn't say that um, i have achieved it all no way i still fall back into my own old habits and sometimes i catch myself thinking oh my god what am i thinking but it is a worthwhile knowing it even knowing that is powerful because when we take responsibility for whatever is happening or whatever will happen or wherever we want to reach then we also think okay fine this is something within our power we can change our thoughts right so that's why it is important to be aware of our thoughts and have that belief in you you are creating that future whatever you want to don't give that power to anybody else and make sure that you can reach where you want to reach you can build your emotional resilience the last one is choices actually when i was speaking today um doing live i just realized choice is an important thing and it's also the most powerful tool we have when we know we have choices we are more likely to be motivated we are so much research has gone into it even the psychologists say when someone knows that they have a choice to decide what they want to do even in as team member even in the work environment they are more likely to be motivated to do what they have to do when they know they have choices that's why your leadership style is important because rather than saying to people this is how it should be done when you give someone the choice 
uh, to get things done the be best suits them they're more likely to be more motivated and they're more likely to get that piece of work or get that project done so it's all about choices so always know that you have a choice how you want to think and choose wisely and when you have choices you always can re-navigate your thought so when you start thinking you catch yourself or you know or someone else is giving you feedback saying oh this is the way you are thinking and i don't think that's really helping you take a moment think about it and that will give you a chance to say okay so because by this time you already know that you have a choice right so then you can think how you can navigate it and go forward and change it to, to summarize everything the it is five c's so catch your thoughts know where you're concentrating clarify them know your consequences of your thoughts and always know you have the choice thank you for listening please help me spread this message to as many as people i can because the, mainly this particular series i'm doing at this moment because a lot of us are cooped up not being able to see the loved ones not being able to do what we want to do even students are getting frustrated sitting at home some students have exams cancelled the parents are worried financial worries so I thought this was a really good time for me to send this message out and spread this message as far and wide as I can to help um, as many people as I can. If you still want um, some questions clarified or some answers from me, please get in touch. My email address is menaka at menaka.co.uk and uh, this is going to be on YouTube. So please do subscribe and um, tell others to subscribe and share this video with anyone and everyone who can benefit from this message. So tomorrow will be my last um, video about emotional resilience. Uh, so please feel free to give me a topic or send a message or comment about a topic you think which will be relevant to you or someone who you know which will best serve them. Thank you for listening. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, stay happy, and stay connected.